Creating navigation tabs in Tableau lets users switch between views. I'll show how to create these tabs and how to design them so a button looks selected. So I'm starting off with three dashboards, overview, sales, and orders. But you can create even more by hitting the new dashboard icon. I'm gonna start on the overview dashboard and add the navigation tabs. Under objects, pull in a navigation object. Then right click to edit the button. Under navigate to, I'm gonna select the sales dashboard. And for your button style, you could use an image and upload a file, but I'm just gonna use text. For the title, I'll type sales. Then I'll change the font to Tableau medium, size 14. And since this is the button to navigate to sales and it's not the actual sales dashboard, I'm gonna make this a light gray. Then for background, I'll choose none. I'll position this where I want my navigation tabs to be. And within desktop, before you publish this, you wanna try out the buttons. You can hit Alt on the keyboard and then click the button. That way you can test the functionality of your buttons. To save time, I'm gonna copy our sales button and paste it. This time I'm gonna edit the button and have it navigate to the orders dashboard. I'll title it orders and keep all the other settings the same. Since we're already on the overview dashboard, it doesn't make sense to create a button to navigate to the dashboard we're already on. So instead of adding another button, under objects, I'm gonna drag in a text box. I'm gonna type overview, and I'm gonna format this the same way I did the buttons. Except this time, I'm gonna change the font color to black. That way the overview text looks selected compared to our button text. And instead of messing around with the position of these, to save time, I'm gonna pull in a horizontal container. I'll select the text object, hit shift on the keyboard, and drag this inside our horizontal container. And I'll repeat that process for the buttons. On the layout tab, I'll select the horizontal container, and I'll move the entire thing where I want the navigation tabs to appear. But you can see these are not all the same size, so I'm gonna hit the drop down arrow and distribute the contents evenly. Now in presentation mode, I can interact with the sales tab to navigate to the sales dashboard. And I can click on the orders tab to navigate to the orders dashboard. To quickly implement these navigation tabs to the other dashboards, I'm gonna click on the horizontal container. Then I'll hit the drop down arrow and copy the dashboard item. On the sales dashboard, I'll paste the item. And since this is the sales dashboard, I'm gonna edit the sales button. This time I'll navigate it to the overview dashboard and I'll change the text to overview. Then I'll edit the text for overview and change this to sales. I can drag these items around in the container so that sales is after overview, which is the same order we have on the overview dashboard. I'll repeat this process again by copying the horizontal container. Then on the orders dashboard, I'll paste it. I'll edit the text for sales and call this orders. Then I'll drag orders to the right and edit the orders button. I'll repoint this so that it navigates to sales and I'll title it sales. Now we have these interactive tabs that allow users to navigate between the dashboards in this workbook. These tabs are great for providing a user-friendly way to organize and explore multiple views.